Okay guys, so we've gone over to our project now. Um, if you haven't gone this far, just go check out uh, part one of creating levels, right? Uh, so right here, right, we just have, um, uh, you know, you go into the project and you uh, hit the button and then that button will create the uh, level and then it will go down and create the coordinates for the lines and you'll connect the lines and then you create the balance for the profile and then you go and create the floor, right? Pretty basic and simple, okay? Uh, so for this one now, <clears throat> um, we're gonna first things first, right? So to get user information, right, we got to make the form pop up. So for when forms, just so we know it's coming, right? So we're gonna do uh, grab uh, setup form and ask for user information, right? Okay. So after that, now we're gonna come over here, right click, and we're gonna create, or we're gonna add uh, when forms, right? And we're going to go ahead and hit that. And it's going to ask us this, and we're going to say yes, please. We're looking for forms, form, Windows form. And hit OK. All right, so now that we have this, um, so this is pretty much our window, just like you've seen it in typical dialog boxes coming up in uh, PC typically, right? <clears throat> and um, so this is where we're going to place all of our elements, right? So you can come over here, hit toolbox, right? And here's going to see all of your um, elements that you can place in it, right? So if you scroll down, uh, you get everything from uh, from panels, text boxes, labels, radio buttons, check boxes, uh, everything that you could possibly want, lists, and all that stuff. Okay. Uh, for this, we're just going to use uh, labels, we're going to use text boxes, and we're going to use buttons. Okay. All right. And let's see how it turns out. So first things first, we're going to grab a button. All right. It's going to come up kind of small. We're going to make it as big as we want. And we're going to copy, paste, right, and then it's going to auto-align for us like that, great. And then we're going to come over back to Toolbox again, and we're going to hit uh, Label, and oops, just hit Label right here, great. Click and drag it, and then we can come down here and put in whatever we want, right, so this one will say, uh, how many levels would you like to add, All right? And then you go ahead and copy and paste that one again. And then here we're going to ask what the floor to floor height should be. Okay. Uh, what, what would you like the floor, floor to floor height to be? Okay, great. Now that's done. Just click done. Well, you can always stretch that out. Move you guys over. Alright. And then we're going to come over here, and lastly, we're going to use text box, right? And that's going to collect our user information uh, or whatever the user input is. Okay. So that one, uh, this one, we're going to call it uh, levels quantity. Okay. And then, whoops. So it's not going to go there. That is actually going to be empty, but we're going to put that down here for name. Okay. Levels quantity text box. For naming convention, I tend to just name whatever I want, plus like text box or label or whatever you want. Um, just because so it's easy to find later on, you can always remember what it is. Uh, otherwise, you can kind of get confused if you just name, well, if you label everything, you know, like one name, right? Okay, and then here we're going to call it, uh, we're going to call this one uh, feet, feet quantity. Text box. All right, and then this one, we're gonna call this one continue button. And then when we go for the contents of it, we're just gonna say continue. And then for this guy, 
This guy's going to be the cancel button. And then here, this is going to be cancel button. Okay. All right. Pretty basic layout. Nothing crazy. Um, all right. And now what we're going to do is we're going to edit the code. Um, so what we're going to do is to get to get into the code, uh, there's two ways to do it. You can either see. So if you expand this guy, right? There's this guy and this guy. Right? So this form is this one. You enter the code. So you double click on that element. Now I'll take you into form that CS. You want to get back to the graphics part. You click this, and then this guy. This takes you to. Are you sure where this is? I've never used this one before. I've never edited it. So let's we'll not touch it. Uh, and then the ResX file. This is it's just six variables, I think. I haven't touched this one either. I don't need that. Uh, okay, so back to what we know. So to get into the code, right? We're just gonna click this guy. And if you ever click these, right, you'll see this guy's auto populated, right? And there's nothing else in this file, All right? So this guy's can populate, and then uh, so if we click this one, this guy will populate. Right here, see, I'm gonna just add blend, but nothing else. So if you do that, right, to delete, for when you do that, don't delete these because they will, uh, it'll give you an error. Um, there's two things that are connected, so it's heads up. So when you do it, you know, just like leave it blank and don't touch it. Uh, or, you know, like, feel free to go check on YouTube how to do it, but I'll probably do that later, but for now, just don't touch them. And then, so the ones that we want to edit, right, is continue button and cancel button. So we can go ahead and get those. So that one, he pops open. And then we'll go back. And then this guy. And he pops open. Okay, great. So for, okay, so first thing, first thing we got to do is we got to create the variable for um, for the strings that we're going to pass over to Revit. Okay. Or sorry, over to our other, to, to our command.cs file. Okay. All right. So we are going to add in the strings first, and we're going to add in Revit. So for adding in Revit, right, we're going to add in and be private. Some, this is some of the things that were in the command file. Uh, so be private UI application. Yeah, that's not coming in. Let's see, oh, sorry, because we got to. Bring in our imports. Yeah. Okay. So using Autodesk dot edit dot db. And then using Autodesk dot revit dot ui. And then let's see where that gets us. Okay, so uh, private UI location go away and UI app private UI document. Doc and then private autodesk dot revit dot application services application dot app and then private document. Oh, that's why. This is to go. Yeah, here. Okay. That's fine. All right, and then after that, we're going to set our strings, and that string's going to be 
um, public string, and then call this one key value, and then public string levels value. Okay. And then uh, for this partial class form one form, uh, this one we're going to do system dot windows dot forms dot form and that red line goes away okay great uh, so we're gonna go down below initialize component and we're gonna do you got app oh, sorry first initialize component here public form initialize component Here, we're going to do uh, external command. Come on. External command data. Command data. Okay, great. All right, now under initialize component. Do we balance out? Okay. And now we're gonna do UI app is equal to command data dot application. And we're gonna do UI doc is equal to UI app dot active doc active UI document. And we're gonna do app is equal to UI app dot application. And we're going to do doc is equal to UI doc dot document. All right, that's done. And then we're going to go to our, let's see, do the cancel button first. All right, and so this is going to be cancel button dot dialog result is equal to dialog result dot cancel and then debug dot right line cancel button is clicked and that debug will just print out again uh, in our Revit uh, console And then to get debug to come in, there we go, diagnostics. Okay, all right, and we're just about done. So in the continue button, we're gonna do uh, continue button dot, I'm sorry, we're gonna grab the levels. And our string values. So levels value is equal to uh, the uh, levels text box value. Levels quantity text box dot text. And then we're also going to grab for the feet, so feet value is equal to feet value quantity text box dot text. Okay, and then after that we're gonna do uh, continue button dialog result dot to dialog result dot okay. And then we're gonna do debug dot right line. Uh, OK button is clicked. And then we're going to do close. And then we're going to do return. Okay. All right. And that should be it for the Windows. We'll go over to the Revit side, or to the command.cs side. 
Hey guys, I'm going to end this video here because it's getting kind of long. Uh, otherwise my computer explodes and then it's a lot of trouble. Um, so I'm going to, we'll continue this in part three where we're filling out the rest of the code in uh, command.cs, alright? See you there.